Hi, boys and girls. Time again for Pleasant Pathways from Poppy, our storytelling time for the day. I have a very special book for you today. It's a small book. Won't take very long to read this one. Puppies for Sale, written by a man named Dan Clark. I don't know if you've ever heard or seen this book before. I ran across it last night and I loved its message. So listen very carefully, look at the pictures, and you'll probably understand the lesson even when I finish the book, but we'll go over that as soon as we're done, okay? Puppies for sale. There's the little guy for sale right there. Okay, you see the sign from the uh, store owner? He's got puppies for sale. A store owner was tacking a sign in his store window, which read, puppies for sale, when a little boy appeared. There's the little guy, got his baseball hat on. Looks a little bit sad or concerned, doesn't he? Let's see why. How much are you selling the puppies for, he asked. The man told the lad he didn't expect to let any of them go for less than $50. Dollars is a lot of money for a little guy to have, isn't it? Keep that in mind. Fifty dollars is the cost of these puppies. There you see, he's looking through his pockets to see what he can find. The boy reached in his pocket, pulled out some change, looked up at the store owner and said, I have two dollars and thirty-seven cents. Can I look at the puppies now? Money's all crumpled up, isn't it? 237. You can count it yourself. There it is. Here comes the mom and the pups following behind her. The store owner smiled and whistled from the kennel. A dog named Lady came running down the aisle, followed by five tiny balls of fur. Don't you just love puppies? They're so enthusiastic, aren't they? There's one puppy that was lagging behind a little bit. Let's see what's wrong here. One puppy lagged behind. Immediately, the little boy asked about the limping puppy. The limping puppy. What's wrong with that little doggy? Doesn't look like anything's wrong. Does it? See now that he's holding up one of the hind legs. Let's see what uh, is the store owner says about him. The veterinarian told us the dog is missing a hip socket, said the store owner. He'll always limp just like that. Isn't that sad? You can almost see it in the little doggy's eyes holding that little uh, back, rind, back hind leg up because of the absence of a hip socket. The look on the boy's eyes, in the boy's eyes here, speaks volumes, doesn't it? He says, that's the one I want to buy, the lad said quickly. Wonder why he wants to buy that one. And the store owner is looking back and tells him something that the little boy does not want to hear. The store owner replied, no, you do not want to buy that dog. If you really want him, I'll just give him to you. Seems generous enough, doesn't it, to give the dog to him. Looks like they're having some kind of a disagreement. The boy came close to the store owner's face and said angrily, I don't want you to just give him to me. That doggy is worth just as much as all the other puppies, and I'll pay the full price. In fact, I'll give you $2.37 now and 50 cents a month until I have him paid for. Now, if you're good at arithmetic or math, 
you figure out at 50 cents a month just how long it's going to take him to pay for that puppy. Uh, think about it. It'll probably take years if that's the way he plans to work it out. $2.37, which is all he had in his pocket, and 50 cents a month until that dog was paid for. Why do you suppose he wanted to pay for that dog when he could have gotten it for nothing? The store owner was trying to convince him of just that. The store owner replied, no, no, no. You don't want that dog. He's never going to be able to run and jump and play like the other dogs. You do not want this dog. The owner seems determined not to give the dog to the lad. Look carefully at the little boy's leg. Can you see that? In response, the little boy pulled up his pant leg to reveal a badly twisted right leg supported by two steel braces. Take another look at that. And the look on the little boy's face as the doggy licks his nose. Well, sir, he said, I don't run so well myself and the puppy will need someone who understands. Isn't that a great picture right there? That one you ought to keep in your heart all day long. And a great book and a great lesson. I don't think it requires much explanation to talk about this book. Uh, when they, the litter of pups came out and those five came after their mommy and the one lagged behind because of the lack of a hip socket, you wondered who in the world was going to take it. It's kind of like the runt of a litter sometimes. Nobody wants the runt. Everybody wants the big, strong, healthy ones. This young man, because he knew what it was like to struggle with a, a bad leg, the steel braces on his leg, which hindered him playing and being active. I bet you in the back of my mind, people have probably said things about him that were not very kind. And uh, maybe he was even bullied as a result of his inability to play like the rest of the children. We have to think very carefully about that. Everybody has their own abilities and their own ways of doing things. We need to talk more and more each day about being kind to one another, no matter what their differences might be. This little boy was willing to take $2.37 of his hard-earned money and then pay 50 cents a month for such a long period of time just to make sure this little doggy had a home. The main thing was on that last page, he, meaning the doggy, will need somebody who understands. So there you go. Great story today. Find somebody who might be struggling in some way, somebody who might not have all the gifts and abilities that you do, and let them know that they're special too. Let them know that there is somebody out there who understands. Have a great day in the Lord. We'll see you again tomorrow. Pleasant Pathways from Poppy.